at uh, slow-mos and how to make them smooth in iMovie and this works uh, just the same way in say a movie maker on PC the problem with the low-end editors and if we open iMovie I can show you here if we go file new project you'll see that the biggest frame rate it gives us is 30 frames a second so if you've filmed something at 120 which you can do on a new GoPro Black for example and you import that footage into iMovie it takes it straight back to 30 frames a second it drops 75 percent of the frames and you can't get them back so you now think wow I've got this you know crazy footage that I can make a really cool slow-mo you have that you have got 15 frames a second and the eye can distinguish the single frames which makes it look jerky and that's what makes it look rubbish that really nice slow-mo you see it's slowed down but the footage is smooth okay so the trick to doing that is don't import that into iMovie make your whole movie as you normally would but the few clips that you really like and you want to slow down then just cancel that you get this program which is a free download from GoPro so it's called GoPro Sinform uh, Studio it's free it's a, a quick download it doesn't take up a heap of space and it's super stable so what you can do in here now is that one clip or those two clips that you wanted in your timeline to turn into a cool slow-mo import new files find the file that you wanted and open it okay so drag it in like you normally would anything else Now this is something I just filmed tonight so excuse the setting and the light and the rest of it but just to give you an idea this is just uh, filmed and you can see up the top here it tells you it's 1280 by 720p and it's at 60 frames a second so if I play this it's 8.38 seconds long and through the truck goes okay now if I want to slow it down I simply hit advanced settings quality on high and the source now I take to 30 frames a second once I've checked that it'll keep every frame when it moves into iMovie and it'll only play at 50% of the speed so if I did decide no I don't want it slow-mo anymore then I literally in iMovie make it at 200% double the speed that doesn't make it it's not a problem you can speed things up because you're removing frames it's when you slow things down that it becomes a problem so here I am now at 30 frames a second another good thing in here that you can do is if you filled a whole project in 1080 and you had one clip in 720 and you really want to keep it if you upload to YouTube it only uh, will render your video at the lowest resolution clip that exists in it so if you've got a 720 a month to all 1080 you won't be able to get it up there at 1080 so what you can do here is upscale it to 1080 and then you can work it in with the rest of your timeline without getting undermined when you try and upload it to YouTube but in this instance I don't need that because I'm leaving it where it was I've made it 30 frames a second high quality and hit OK now what you've got on the bottom here you add clip to conversion list click shows up here over on the side hit convert and it'll come out pretty quick now the next step to a two-phase process is just proceed to step two you don't need to do anything in here your new clips over on the side here now um, but you can play around in these there's some really good um, settings for um, white balances and so forth it's, and uh, all sorts of rotations and squeezes and different uh, looks and stuff that you can do most of them in iMovie anyway this is a really good one and you can do this also in iMovie but if you haven't used it white balance and I do this to all my clips you click on it and get something that should be white which these are but they've got their real bluish incandescent light look to them click on it and bang now you can see the floor is looking normal and that's looking normal so that's also an iMovie but you can do it here but we're just talking about slow-mo so you're in that screen you went to step two but you don't need to do anything there at all if I click on my clip now and play it now I've taken a 60 frame per second clip taken it to 30 it's now doubled in length it's 17 seconds not eight and a half and that truck moves through the screen perfectly smoothly so what I can do now is export .mov slow mo demo export okay this will just 
take a little second to uh, move through. So, so what it gives you the opportunity now, there I've taken a 60 frame and I've moved it back to 30. If you took 120, that truck would have just moved across the screen a quarter of the speed. So you can imagine with a roost coming off the back wheel or you know opposite drift into a, into a corner, how cool that's going to look. Uh, when you slow that right down and again you're not going to do it for your whole movie um, but when you get to the final stage and you go right that's a cool clip that's a cool clip I want slow-mo on that then go and use this program now here it's done it's thrown it out to my desktop and there it is there so if I open that uh, open back up iMovie again I've got the new project there I'm going to go new event Slow-mo. File, import, movies. Okay, there's my slow-mo one and there's my original clip. Command click, import. Okay, I'll just take a sec to bring both those in. So now I've got the original that I filmed and I've got the one that I've treated in uh, Cineform. And uh, I can put them in the timeline together and we can see exactly what the difference makes. So here's the two clips now. So the first one, Command A. Command A, and take that whole clip into the timeline. And the same there, Command A, and take the whole clip into the timeline. Okay, so what you've got there now is both the clips. There's the original at 8.18, and there's the new slower one at 17.07. So it's maintained all its frames when I bought it in. It hasn't dropped them. So if I play that now at full screen, here's the original. This is how it flew by. And it's still running 30 frames a second, so it's dropped every second frame when it bought it into iMovie. Here's the one that's color corrected, and it's kept all its frames, and it'll play at what looks like half speed. But iMovie believes it's full speed. If you did that in your movie, you decide and you said, oh, well, look, I actually didn't want that as a slow mo. Well, you don't have to mess around and import it all again. You just literally go into adjustments, um, clip adjustments, and if you took it from 100 to 200, and done, then bang, look, 818, 818. It's exactly the same as the other clip. So that's how you get uh, smooth slow-mo. So if you're filming at 120, you can get one quarter speed at full frame rate and get that really cool look. All right, I hope that helps. Cheers.